lesson is on identifying the digestive structure and its function. The purpose of this lesson is to cover nutritional lot across the lifespan, state standard three, which states to explain the function of each structure in the process of digestion. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to correctly label the digestive system model and students should be able to know the function of each digestive structure. When students met in person, I gave you a copy of this digestive system paper along with the digestive system foldable answer key. Now that you have both of these documents out, you are ready to begin. The first thing you're going to need to do is to tape and cut out your digestive system model to look like the sample here. Here what I have done is on the first page I have only cut along the bottom dotted line. Then on the other two pages I have cut out on the dotted lines and taped together so that I have one nice long diagram that folds up easily into my binder. So take a moment, pause, and assemble your foldable before we go any further. Now that you have assembled your digestive system foldable, you are going to be identifying certain digestive structures and also putting in your own words what the function of that digestive structure is. So let's go ahead and do one through three together. So if we look here on our digestive system map, number one is the oral cavity. We can find the oral cavity by following along this line and noticing that this area here, okay, that is going to be the mouth. So I'm going to look at what the definition or what the function of the oral cavity is. It states that the oral cavity is the entrance way for the food and where food is held for initial mechanical digestion. So I'm going to put that in my own words over here on my graphic organizer. So here where it says the oral cavity, I'm going to put in parentheses what that means to me. That's my mouth. So I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to tell the function in my own words. So when food enters and it is held for initial mechanical digestion, I could also put food goes here, mechanical digestion occurs. So I'm not copying the function, I'm reading the function and putting it in my own words. Let's take a look at number two, which is the tongue. The tongue is located here in my diagram. Then I'm going to look at the function of the tongue. The tongue is the muscular organ that one, positions the food for chewing, two, mixes food with saliva, and three, pushes the bolus of food down the pharynx during swallowing. Okay. So I'm going to put that, number two, I'm going to write the function in my own words. So there were three things that the tongue does and I just made bullet points or I numbered them, one, two, three, to say what it does. So one, it positions the food for chewing or it holds the food in place for chewing. Two, it mixes food with saliva. Okay. And then thirdly, it pushes food down the pharynx during swallowing. Okay, so that's what you would put for an example. Now let's do number three together. Number three refers to the teeth. If you look at the diagram, you have upper teeth and lower teeth, which we will investigate later on. 
So if we look over here of what the function of teeth is, teeth are responsible for the physical breakdown, mechanical digestion of food to increase its surface area for chemical digestion. So in number three, I'm going to summarize it up. It's a physical breakdown of food and increases surface area for chemical digestion. Now if you have an easier way to put that, that's fine. But make sure you're putting what it actually does to the food and what function it serves in the digestive system. You're going to continue with four, five, six, seven. You're going to go to the next page and complete 13 through 16. And then you're going to complete the bottom 21 through 20, I'm sorry, 17 through 24. Remember there is a front and a back on the answer key. Again, do not write word for word. Summarize it in your own words. Once you have completed your entire foldable, you are now done for today's assignment. You will need to keep this in your binder to be checked upon return to class. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns.